Hello viewers, SuperGT here. Welcome to another episode of SimRig Tours. You heard Steve, welcome to a new episode of SimRig Tour. This time it's going to be with SimRacer YouTubers, or like some companies like to call us, influencers. If you'd like to check out any of these guys, the link will be in the description below. We're going to start with Jardier the Jarpedo, the fastest multitasking sim racing YouTuber. He drives, he talks, he overtakes, he pets his dog while still lapping everyone at least twice in the first two corners. Jardier sim rig is super reminiscent of budget utilitarian rigs that we've seen in the past that a lot of us own or have owned. A desk holds pretty much all of the streaming gear, so computer, microphone, screens, while a GT Omega Art cockpit equipped with the super comfy GT Omega XL seat as mounted is weapons of sim racing destruction. So in this case a Fanatec CSW 2.5 that he pairs with the Club Sport Formula V2 wheel and the Fanatec CSL pedal set with load cell and also other miscellaneous bits and bobs. I suppose from what I see and what I've seen in some streams, the rig will be moved depending if it's needed or not. The setup, while not flashy, it is tidy and functional. So the rig adapts to the house and the needs of the user, instead of having two separate dedicated areas, for example like I do. However, the most important part of the rig and the reason why Jardia is so fast is June. As you can see, there's no need for a big rig to be fast, just get a dog. Now it's time for the king of GT Sport ASMR and Alex Albon's body double, Super GT. Steve is not only an accomplished karting driver, the Toto Wolf of R4M karting team and teammate to Jimmy Broadpants, he also moonlights as a successful streamer and YouTuber, believe it or not. Jokes aside, Super GT's setup is mental. At this point, it seems like his room is built around the rig, which is comprised of a P1X 8020 sim rig that has mounted to it a BenQ 3203R. His equipment list is quite extensive, having a Fanatec TD1 as the wheelbase connected to the McLaren GT3 wheel, one that is sadly discontinued, then a set of Fanatec V3s, and this sim rig is pretty much decked out with all the bells and whistles, including a Fanatec shifter and handbrake. His room is decked with LEDs, karting prizes, acoustic foam to protect his neighbors from all the winds, and a Connor McGregor poster to protect him from Omas. Connor is a great choice for bodyguard as long as you give him your belt. Give me your belt! Sadly, he hasn't shown the most important piece of his rig, which is Thomas the Tank Engine. That is the real trophy. For our next sim rig, it's story time. Did you know that Aiden was born in the 9088 McLaren's pit box in Silverstone GP? I didn't know either, but that is the truth. So our next setup is from Aiden. You might know Aiden Millward from the Motorsport Storytime series where he talks about various motorsports trivia. This is where the motorsport historian both races and investigates the real stories about motor racing. His setup is similar to so many others out there, so it's a T300 mounted in a desk that serves both as a workstation and a racing one. On his T300 you can see equipped the Ferrari F1 steering wheel, as pedals, it's the T3PA set. Now, for a bit of history on these ones, back in 1862, these came in a goods container mixed with some beaver and moose skins exported directly from Canada to the UK by Sim Racing 604. The T3PA set of pedals have been with Aiden's family for generations. Anyways, the rest of the setup is very typical for those who record on YouTube. So it's a set of AT2020 connected to a Behringer UM2 interface and a PC case on top of the desk that looks like a certain Amsterdam road. It does look a bit like my setup from last year, so I connect with this quite a lot. Maybe a story for another time. The next setup we're going to see is way over the top and comes from Coyote Racing. Corey is a Twitch streamer that started sim racing and they decided to do it with a bang. Corey's setup is a P1X 8020 cockpit with a Fanatec DD1 wheelbase and a Fanatec V3 pedal set. On the DD1 base you can see that kick-ass 911 GT3R club sport steering wheel. It's such a beauty to look at and to drive as well. Now its sim racing setup is pretty cool but that's not the only setup that is way over the top, as the rest of the room also is. Everything is covered in acoustic foam, I can only imagine the pain it was to do that, but the result is pretty cool. It's a room with lots of characters and a triple screen setup at the center. 
an arcade machine behind the sim rig, and powering everything, there's a tower with a 3900X, a GTX 1080, and 32 gigs of RAM. Corey's room is giving me some inspiration for the room I'm going to be building in the next few months. Maybe not as over the top, but regardless, it is some inspiration. Oh, and don't forget about the doggo. This rig is known all around the world. It's the rig of famous musician MC Muscle, the creative mind behind hits like Push the Pedal, DD Girl, and many other successful songs. Gamer Muscle has a sim hole at the bottom of his house. Some would call it a basement, but they would be totally wrong. It's a hole and it has sim stuff in it. Every so often, the sim hole creates what it's called sim rigs. One of those was a Simatic K2 that was carefully transplanted to another house. Now that basement boasts a Simlab P1X equipped with a Fanatec DD1 and multiple wheels, a Fanatec V3 pedal set with an interesting custom brake plate. There's an AOC 32 inch as a main screen, the possibility of using his HOTAS setup with the Brunner CLCE and HOTAS combo so we can further share his music with the world. This is the flexibility of an 8020 rig like the P1X. It's possible to have the rig prepared to take racing and flying same equipment at the same time. Somewhere in the basement, there's another desk that is also pretty cool, but sadly MC Muscle didn't share it. The sixth entry is yet from another James. This time, James Tumulti is a smaller sim racing YouTuber with a kick-ass setup. Very likely, as a married man, he is confined to the smallest room possible in the house where he could spend his time and hard-earned money in the hobby. To be honest, I haven't seen such a small room have so much stuff in it and still be functional. You guys remember those numbers where like 30 clowns and an elephant come out of a 1967 Mini? It's his room in a nutshell. Still, he was able to get the kick ass of a rig there. It is comprised by a 30 newton meter simplicity a Simicube One Direct drive wheel, a Fanatec Club Sport V2 which died and had all the electronics ripped out and replaced with Leo Bodnar Electronics, all fitted in a wooden rig which he is trying to replace. He is complaining about the temperature of that room, it's not surprising at all considering that he has two PC cases behind him, the bottom one I thought it was a small fridge and that's a shame on me, and the window on the top. I really hope he fixes the temperature issue and updates us on the development as it can be useful for me in the future. Last but not least, Chris A. I think he doesn't need any introduction so I won't be introducing one of the biggest voices in sim racing and creator of some of the best cinematics out there. Not at all. Chris's setup is another one where our spouses reduce us to the small room in the house, to a place where we can't really move. Still, Chris made the best out of that sentence. The sim rig is exactly behind the 8020 desk that he built, and the sim itself is also 8020 rig built to purpose with some Fanatec goodies. In this case, a Fanatec DD1 wheelbase that he's using over a formula wheel type over the Fanatec Universal Hub. On this sim rig, we can also see a very comfortable Sparco chair. Even being a 2080 rig with plenty of accessories, Chris's setup is one of the cleanest and simplest in this video. The cable management isn't too bad, all things considered, and even the cables we could see could very easily get out of the way with the cheap cable management sleeve. And that's it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video and thank you very much to all the influencers, <laughs> to all the YouTubers that provided the pictures, they've been very patient and very good sport. So a big thank you to all of them. If you'd like to check out any of these guys, the link will, like I said, it will be below for all of their channels. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And if you're going to get some GT Omega or Fanatec kits, the links will also be in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. I can show you my rig. Shining, equipped, splendid. Tell me, viewer, now when did you last let your wallet decide? I can open your eyes. Take you from wheel to shifter. Over, sideways, and under on a magic cassette or ride a whole new world. 
Don't tell your wife or else you're screwed Then she'll tell you no And you should go Stop some rig dreaming